TFNN Headline News Update. Good morning, everybody. I'm Tommy O'Brien coming to you live from TFNN, 9 a.m. Eastern Time, Monday morning, 30 minutes to go until that opening bell, and we got markets. Climbing higher, S&P's 31.99 right now, up about 20 points. Futures with 30 minutes to go. We got the NQs up 99 points, almost 100 points in the green. The NQs just under 11,000. Not that long ago, we passed 10,000. They're trading 10,937. The Dow up 181 points. Back above 26,000 this morning at 26,158. We got the oil contract pulling back a bit, but still above $40 at 40.16, off about 39 cents. We got the gold contract catching a bit up $9 at 18.10. Silver up 44 cents. Notes and bonds were pulling back in price. We got the 10 year off about four ticks at 139.02. The 30 year off 22 ticks at 179.04. We're looking at a 10 year yield right now of approaching 0.6. Six percent. We'll start things off. We'll jump over to some of the stocks with action this morning. Pepsi out with their numbers. Uh, drinks pulling back a bit, but people are eating snacks. They're eating Quaker Oats. Uh, Pepsi up about three dollars on their earnings. The conference call beginning at about eight fifteen this morning. One thirty seven seventy. Tesla shares. It just don't stop, folks. If you thought Friday was quite a run. Maybe Monday's got more in action. We're up $100 from where we closed on Friday. Tesla, remarkable. Just on Friday, we were trading at 1376. We're going to open at 1648 in the price of Tesla. Amazon shares, don't leave Amazon out. They're trading higher as well, up about $62 right now at 3262, closed at 3200 on the dot. Remarkable of Amazon. We're up exactly, folks. Well, a little bit more now, 100% from the lows we had on March 16th. You bought it at 16.26. You doubled your money in the span of about four months. The other thing that I was thinking about going over all these numbers this morning, it is remarkable that we are now four months, four months removed from the lows of March. Remarkable, right? You back it, it does not seem like four months, but time, folks, time just keeps marching on. You look at the low in the S&Ps, there it is, March 23rd, the same day. We're actually almost five months away from when the market started falling apart in February. What else we got? We got a lot of action. Let's check in on the VIX. With this market climbing higher, though, the VIX still sitting above 27 at 27.35, actually above where we closed on Friday. Watch out for that volatility. Stay tuned, folks. Larry Pesavento coming up live at 9. I'll be back at 10 o'clock with Tom. We'll be right back, folks. Stay tuned.